Hi friends, welcome to Origin Fertility and IVF. I am Dr. Rashmi Sharma. So we are starting a series of micro topics on infertility and IVF. And with the help of these small, small topics, we hope to clear every little aspect of your questions. The first topic in this discussion is anti mullerian hormone. I'm sure if you are suffering from infertility, doctor must have already advised you AMH or anti mullerian hormone. What it is? So AMH is a simple blood test. It's a hormone which is secreted by small little uh, eggs in your ovary. It is a test of the ovarian reserve. It tells us how many eggs your ovary has. As you know, all the girls are not born with unlimited number of eggs. They are born with certain number of eggs which is decided at birth. And as the age, in, as age of the girl increases, the egg quality and egg number goes down. So AMH tells us how much time do you have? The normal range of the AMH is 2.2 to 6.8 nanogram per ml. So what does a low AMH means? If let's say your AMH has come out to be 0 0.2, 0 0.3, so do not panic. AMH only tells about the number. It doesn't tell us about the quality of the egg. The quality of the egg is told by the age. So if you are young and but your AMH is low, do not worry, you do not need donor egg IVF. You can try to conceive with your own eggs also. But yes, if you are uh, also older, like you are more than 38 years, you are 40, 42, and your AMH is also low. So both the quality and the number, both are low. In that case, you may need to have donor egg IVF. Okay, so low AMH does not mean no pregnancy. Low AMH only means that you have to hurry up if you want to conceive from your own egg. What does high AMH means? High AMH meaning your ovary has lot of eggs, meaning that is a sign of polycystic ovarian disease. Polycystic ovarian disease needs different kind of management which your doctor will certainly tell you, but there's absolutely nothing to worry about in that. So who should get the AMH test done? I would advise to number one, those married couples who because of whatever reason, whether because of career or because of, uh, you know, um, shifting from out of the country, they are delaying pregnancy. So before taking this decision that you don't that you want to delay the pregnancy, please do your AMH test plus enter follicle count because it is like a fertility test. It will tell you whether you can afford to delay pregnancy or not. Believe me, I have seen patients where they have been married for seven years and then they thought they don't want to have pregnancy for six years. And then when they actually tried, the AMH was so low, so low, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, that they, you know, there was huge panic. So don't do that mistake. If you are, because of whatever reason, if you are wanting to delay the pregnancy, do an AMH test. The second patients are unmarried girls. So if you are unmarried, let's say around 28, 30, 32, and because of whatever reason you don't want to marry right now, do your AMH. If your AMH is low, please freeze your eggs. So egg freezing is available these days and egg freezing is very successful technology. If because of whatever reason you are not able to have pregnancy right now, you are delaying pregnancy either because you're not married or you don't want to, you can always opt for egg freezing. So ask your doctor about egg freezing if your AMH is low. So I hope uh, many of the uh, doubts about AMH would have been cleared. If you have any further question, you can write down in the comment section below and I would love to answer those questions. Thank you.